Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Public Square, for having us. We are BIPOC youth that reside in Siri on the unceded traditional territories of the Semyamu, Kutsi, Kikrilim, Kwantlen, Kikite, and Tawasin First Nations. Based on current data and literature, we discovered that although most immigrants have advanced proficiency, some may lack the required literacy and language skills to safely navigate the community. This led us to ask the question, how might we, how might we improve road safety literacy for newcomer youth in Surrey? Our youth project leads includes myself and John Vincent Flores. The rest of our project team includes Paula Ardiles, our lead investigator, Nancy Clark, our co-investigator, and Helena Fan, our research assistant. The rapidly growing city of Surrey is home to the second largest immigrant population in the Metro Vancouver region and is projected to, sur to surpass Vancouver's population in the next decade. According to the 2016 BC Census, Surrey had a higher immigration growth compared to Vancouver and between 2011 and 2016, the city of Surrey had over 36,000 immigrants. Based on our initial findings, more traffic-related re injuries and fatalities occurred in neighborhoods with higher percentages of newcomers, averaging between 35% and 54% of the total population. These neighborhoods include Newton, Guilford, Fleetwood, and Wally. Between 2017 and 2018, there was a significant increase in motor vehicle fatalities among youth aged 15 to 24. And when separated by the demographic age, low-income families with children younger than 17 years old lived in the same areas with high traffic incidents. Considering these statistics, traffic safety needs to be understood from the socioeconomic and cultural characteristics in which communities reside. This also emphasizes the urgent need for an innovative and equitable solution to prevent road-related fatalities and injuries among Surrey's newcomer youth. There are many challenges experienced by newcomer youth, which includes language barriers, social isolation, lack of access to information, or they may not be aware of the resources available. Additionally, they face greater responsibilities supporting their older family members on how to navigate these new systems. They also carry the burden of acting as interpreters for their family. Based on this awareness, we developed a prototype, which is a peer-led walking tour that will take groups of newcomer youth to key community establishments, such as the library, recreational center, and green spaces. Furthermore, we are facilitating art space workshops to engage with the youth groups, which allows them to express their experiences in navigating the new roads as a newcomer. We are also using art, such as digital storyboards, to decimate information and share each of their unique stories. Our main objectives includes engaging Surrey's newcomer youth through arts-based workshops to better understand their needs and context regarding road safety, developing a prototype around road safety and testing its feasibility. And lastly, we aim to co-create learning materials with the youth to use to distribute project results to the community. In five years, we expect to see an increase in youth-led advocacy efforts on road safety and navigation, which will hopefully lead to a reduction in traffic-related injuries and fatalities among Surrey's newcomer youth. In addition, we aim to improve the well-being of newcomers to Surrey, enable youth to advocate from this, for themselves and inform policy making, help youth build social connections with one another and the community as a whole. And this is what we have done so far. So we facilitated our first art space workshops with the Welcome Center at Surrey Schools. It was a very rewarding experience and uh, welcoming them to our community and we look forward to seeing them again. Finally, in regards to our project timeline, we will be conducting more arts-based workshops with Surrey Schools in June and begin the development of our walk tours in July, with our walk tour launch aimed for August. Ultimately, we hope to engage over 300 newcomer youths through our arts-based workshops and walk tours by the end of the year. And that's all for our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for listening.